Hey everybody and welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how to use layered images. Before I get started, a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed. If you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to do it. Hit the notification icon, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also a huge thank you to my patrons on both Patreon and Subscribestar. You guys are awesome. If you're a patron, your name will be running across the bottom of the screen right now. So in order to use a layered image, we first need to understand when they are useful. A layered image is ideal in situations where maybe you have a character displayed on the screen and certain parts of the character will change, such as their expression, hairstyle or outfit. And you don't want to have to do the same image over and over again. So you just render very small parts and then just change those very small parts. So let's look at how we do that. The first thing we need to do is actually declare a layered image. So we're going to open up a new line in our tutorials with Dundee file and we're going to type in layered image and then we're going to give it a name and we're going to call it Lucy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to define the base. So the part of the character that's always going to be displayed. So usually the character's body, perhaps a body without any kind of anatomy on it. Just the, this is going to be the background to our sprite. So we're going to say always, and then we're going to define what the image is. Now I've got images off screen, so I can say that always the background is going to be Lucy underscore base. Next thing we need to do is we need to create a group. Now, unlike the always statement, a group is only going to display uh, part of what's in there. So we can say, for example, group hair. And we're going to put that small S just to keep everything consistent. Now in a group, only one of the items that we define inside a group can be displayed. So we can say, attribute we're just going to call this one hair one i think and this is going to be the default so we want to say that unless we otherwise tell renpy the hairstyle that's going to be chosen is going to be this one so we're going to call this one hair underscore lucy underscore hair underscore one and then if we wanted to add different hairstyles we could do so by assigning those also as attributes. So we could say attribute hair underscore two, and then that one will be Lucy, helps if I could spell hair underscore two. And then if there's a file for that, then that would allow us to choose between the two, but we haven't got a second hairstyle, so we're just going to come out of that. Now we're going to define a group for expressions. Be careful not to just type expression because that's actually a keyword used in RenPy. Um, we're going to say attribute and this one's going to be neutral and it's also going to be our default. And then this one's going to be Lucy underscore neutral. And then we've also got a happy expression, but that's not going to be our default. And then this will be Lucy underscore happy like that. Now it's also important to make sure that we're putting these in the order that they need to appear. Now I've deliberately made a mistake here in that ideally your the hair is going to be positioned after the expression because the hair might cover up part of the face so we're going to cut that bit out and we're going to paste it in there just to make sure that it goes to the base then it adds the facial expression then it adds the hair just in case the hair is covering the face next we want to do the outfit so we're going to call this one group outfits attribute outfit one default and 
this is going to be Lucy underscore outfit underscore one. And then I'm having trouble typing today, attribute. Outfit to default, and this is not default, sorry. And we're going to type in Lucy underscore outfit underscore two, like so. And then technically, that's really all we need to do to define this. So what I'm going to do is we've got Jake happy at the moment. So I'm actually going to remove that. and I'm just going to say show Lucy and let's see what happens when we run our project. So as you can see, now that we've run our project, we've got our layered image. Now, if I wanted to perhaps change the outfit, I would say uh, I'm going to script and I'd say show Lucy outfit underscore two and there you go that's really all there is to it it's that simple you just have to have your sprites drawn up uh, beforehand so now if I wanted to remove the outfit altogether I'd type in show Lucy minus outfit two show Lucy minus outfit one and it won't let us do that because we've got outfit one set as a default but yes so there you go and that's really all there is to it I hope you found this useful let me know if you've got any questions let me know what you think in the comments below again don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button and I'll see you in the next one bye bye